because it is a system for implementing high-quality graphical interfaces at low cost. Using Cousin to construct an interface is substantially easier and less time-consuming than programming a similar interface directly. To show you the types of interfaces that Cousin can produce and how they are constructed, let's look at the interface to a file management system called Chili. All Cousin interfaces are in the same basic style. Like Chili, they appear to the user as graphical forms with fields that correspond to the various pieces of information the user and the application need to exchange. The fundamental concept behind Cousin is that the user interface portion of an application program can be separated out from its functional part. The user interface can then be specified separately and externally to the application. This leads to this kind of system picture. Cousin sits between the user and application and mediates the communication between them. It provides two interfaces for each application, the user visible interface that the end user actually sees and an application interface that the application programmer sees. Both of these are specified by a declarative interface definition which is separate from the application. Cousin interfaces are defined as a set of value-containing slots, one slot for each piece of information that the user and the application need to exchange. This concentrates on what needs to be communicated rather than on how or in what order the communication should take place. Given an interface definition of this kind, it is straightforward to generate form-like user-visible interfaces form fields simply display the values of the slots. To show the high level of abstraction in Cousin's interface definition language, we'll first take a close look at a particular field in a Cousin form, and then look at the corresponding slot in the interface definition. Let's look at the display mode field in the, of the form for Chile. As we saw before, we can get a menu for this field and use it to enter a new value. We are also free to change the field by direct editing. Suppose we enter a totally incorrect value, say bright. Cousin responds by highlighting the field in black to show that it's incorrect. We could get the menu to select a valid value again, or we could ask for help by pointing at the field and pressing the help key. The pop-up help message which we get should clear up any misapprehensions. Cousin can also use the information it has about what can go in the field to complete abbreviations or to correct spelling errors. Note that none of this supportive interaction involves the application in any way. All it has to do is respond when we finally put a correct value in the field. Now, let's look at the interface definition and see what the interface builder has to do to get a form field that behaves this way. Here is the definition of the display mode slot from which the display mode field is derived. Cousin employs an attribute valued notation for slot definition. You can see that the attributes for this field include its name, the kind of value that can fill it, the default value, a list from which values can be chosen, and the way the user can interact with it, in this case by editing a value into it. The list of values is what Cousin uses to generate the menu and to perform value completion and error correction. The purpose attribute contains the string that Cousin uses for quick help messages. For the sake of clarity, we have omitted some other slot attributes, including those specifying the position of the field within the form. Since the interface definition is separate from the application, we can get a radically different interface by simply changing the information in the interface definition. No changes to the application are necessary. Here's a different interface to Chile, obtained solely by changing the interface definition. Notice that the display mode field is now a table. 
showing both of its possible values. The box around short show that it's the current value. To change the value, we just click the mouse over the value we want. Let's look at the corresponding slot in the new interface definition. It's the same as before, except that the interaction type is now table rather than edit in. We have specified the table as having two columns, no scroll bar, and its current value marked with a box. This small change accounts entirely for the corresponding field's quite different appearance and behavior. Cousin currently implements five different slot interaction types to allow their corresponding fields to have a variety of appearances and behaviors. The key to Cousin's power is the separation of the user interface from the application functionality. Given the increasingly complex capabilities of I.O. hardware and the rising expectations of computer users, we strongly believe that to produce interfaces of high enough quality at low enough cost, it will, in the future, be necessary to employ user interface management systems which adopt a similar approach.